Chapter 24. My name is Rafter. I ran. The helicopter door stood open. But I guess I didn't matter. I did, it didn't matter. With my new power, I could have ripped the door off its hinges. I could have torn a hole in the sides of the aircraft. The pilot made no move to close the door. He wasn't worried about me. In the back of my mind, a warning bell went off. I could turn around, I couldn't turn around now. So my hands, so my right, to my right, the van lurched forward. Juanita extended her hand out the window, shooting fire from her palm. To my left, Benny was ticking a fu- tickling a furious Charles. Inside the helicopter, silence. I reached the door and climbed inside and came to face with October Jones. The first thing I noticed was the super villain, was that the super villain wore a simple flight suit, not a super suit. My mind raced. I felt almost frantic. This man didn't have a super suit. Leader of the whole Jones family, and he didn't feel the need to put on protection or dress up in a costume. He wore a whole helmet, and his face was partially hidden by a stretch of black fabric that went from the bottom of his left jaw over his nose, mouth, and mouth and attached to the helmet above his right ear. Gray hair poked from under his helmet and wrinkles covered his face, but I couldn't guess at his age. He might have been 40 or 60 or 80. The man had cold eyes and yet at the same time they seethed with fire. If he felt fair, his face revealed none of it. The man sitting on the pilot's chair was in complete control. That scared me more than anything. Get out over get out of my helicopter, boy, the man said. Now his calm voice unnerved me. The great effort, I kept my own words steady, trying to match his. I'm not a boy. My name is Rafter. Rafter Bailey, and your name is October Jones. I guessed right. Fury grew in October's face. He twisted me towards his seat and shouted angrily. I don't care what your name is or who you are. I told you, get out of my helicopter. I didn't move. With lightning speed, he jumped off out of his seat, pushing my shoulders. I could have stopped him, but my strength, but no one would push me around ever again. But I let let him think he had the upper hand. And I fell out of the helicopter and landed on the ground. October lifted his wrist to his mouth and said something I couldn't hear. I stood shaking myself off. The reflection of the window let me see the hulking figures turn and pound his way towards us. October still crouched by the door of the helicopter. I reached inside and grabbed the villain by his flight suit. But I couldn't, but I, before I could pull, helicopter's October grabbed my wrist. He pierced me with a cold stare. I do not have time for this, little boy. I will deal with you myself if I must. One second, he was in the helicopter, hand gripping my wrist. The next second, he pushed me back, and both of us stood on the ground. He grabbed the front of my coat in death a grip. I did not like the look in his eyes. And then, very suddenly, we were soaring into the cold night sky. We rolled past my ears. My, I felt my stomach drop. The lights of the city beneath my feet became a little more than tiny points. I didn't know how high we were. A thousand, maybe fifteen hundred feet. And still, we shot towards the stars. I didn't like my chances of surviving a fall his height. Even with my new superpower, tactics. Another piece of information. October's power was flight. I still had a slight advantage with my strength. The air rushing past my ears grew quiet as we slowed and came to a stop. We hovered in the sky surrounded by inky darkness. October had me at arm's length, like you might carry a leaking bag of garbage. I reached out of 
out and grabbed the front of, the, of his flight suit. If he let go of me, I wouldn't fall. I grow tired of this boy, October's voice sounded quiet in the stillness of the sky. I told you, I said, trying to make my voice as calm as his. It was even harder because my teeth were chattering in the cold. My name is Rafter, and I told you. October paused, his face broke into a stare. Wait a minute, you're one of the new ones, right? His laugh was as cold as March night air. Hanging on to October's suit wasn't secure enough for me. I swung forward, wrapping my legs around his waist. Oh, this is delicious, October said. Let me get this straight. I give you a worthless power, and somehow you still manage to track me down? I heard the word worthless one too many times. I pulled October close and wrapped my arms around him until I had him in a full body bear hug. I curled my legs together, squeezing his waist at an iron grip, and doing the same with my arms. Not hard enough to break anything, but enough to constrict his breathing. I wanted him to know who he was dealing with. Not some worthless kid, but a superhero. October merely laughed. Afraid of heights, he mocked. I squeezed harder. This much pressure would crash his ribs would crush his ribs of a normal person, but it seemed to be having no effect on October. Maybe his flight suit had armor after it. Armor after all, or maybe, no. I squeezed with all my might, I grunted with effort. October showed no pain. The only way he would, could survive my grip was if he had super strength too. October Jones was a super super.